At speed camp in La Parva, Chile, the U.S. ski team awakens well before sunrise and prepares for its second day of downhill training. This is where I live. It's pretty glamorous. A little bunk bed with broken, broken wooden slats and pretty comfy, but it's more of a hallway than a room. <laughs> Finding anywhere we can to put our boots on. The accommodations may not rival a five-star hotel, but the Spartan quarters do foster team unity. As the sun peeks out over the horizon, John McBride, the new head speed coach, is already hard at work preparing the course. He has returned to the U.S. ski team after a 10-year break. Our team in particular has a lot of really strong personalities, and so John o really fits well with that because he's organized, he's firm with his decisions, but he's also lighthearted. You sleep fast? What's that? You sleep fast? Yeah. John is a new coach for us this year, and he has a lot of experience on the World Cup. Already this year, there's so much trust between the athlete and the coaches, and it's a kind of relationship that you have to earn. And I think it, it all came from, we had a camp in Aspen this summer, late June, we stayed on Jono's ranch. Took over his house, set up tents, and we just camped out there. Yeah. <laughs> we went backpacking, mountain biking, did some karate, did some gymnastics, hockey. To bring us all in and sort of have a five-day backpacking trip with a ton of activity was really cool. It was a different part of life that our team has never experienced together. He didn't really describe what the hike was going to be like, so we were like, oh, this is cool, we're just going to climb a 14er. And about two minutes into it, I think we all realized what was about to unfold. Capital Peak, it's the most dangerous 14er in Colorado. There's one section called the Knife Edge, and then above that, it's just kind of like loose scree on top of this like Knife Edge ridge that goes to the summit. We all had to work together, because if you didn't, it probably wasn't gonna end well. It was cool, though, to have him there guiding us. He was totally comfortable with it. He's a badass guy in really good shape, so it's been really fun. My philosophy as a coach was to empower people to feel good about what they do, and hopefully that translates into the environment that we have as a team, and I think if we do that well, these guys as a team will help push themselves as individuals to be better.